Welcome Blossoms, we're back with another Let's Play and this time we're playing the most wholesome game in the world, aka Kind Words, Lo-Fi Chill Beats to Ride To. So, this game is about writing letters, uh, kind of reminiscent of Violet Evergarden. Um, they write you a letter, usually with a problem, and you write one back. Uh, it's very cute, it's very cute, very deep as well. So, that's what we're going to be getting into today. Um, unfortunately I did record a video but I had some issues so it's not going to be like us both going through the first part of the game I'm just gonna go in there with you and explain to you like what I've been doing so let's start someone sends their thanks for the letter you wrote and you got a new sticker captain astronaut nice nice validation for helping people out Someone else sends their things for a letter that I wrote, and another new sticker, Mail Dear, a kind friend, that's so cute. Another person sent a letter. I did I did send a few letters, to be honest. Oh my god, everyone's sending me their thanks, that's so cute. So apparently I've been writing good letters, guys. Hopefully we can write some good letters today as well. Someone wrote me a letter, so I wrote a letter basically um, about my sleep. From Kindred Spirit B. Okay, so it shows my letter. Um, does anyone else have an issue where they wake up three to four hours after they've slept, regardless of how tired they are? If so, do you have any tips? Okay. Our first letter. Oh, we got a pop can, that's interesting. Not gonna lie, that, act that actually sounds like more of a blessing to me. Well, a way you can improve your sleep is by staying up for longer. Say you were up for 18 hours and you got to, and you go to sleep for three hours. If you double it, you may want to sleep longer. Drink milk, tea, or drinks that don't give you energy. Another way you can try is after waking up, try going back to sleep immediately. You may be able to go to sleep for longer. Okay, that's cute. Thank you for that. And for, thank you for that tip. A. Another letter. This is crazy. People are so helpful. This is so cute. Hey B. Working out, drinking hot tea, and listening to audiobooks and Apple for Bird have helped me so much. Peach tea is the best, by the way. Also, sleep every day at the same time. Yeah, this is a big one. That's what I tr I'm trying to do. No matter what. And wake up every day at the same time, too. I couldn't sleep before 5 a.m. and would have to go to school at 7 a.m. for a year. With the proper night routine, I've been sleeping 8 hours a night from 10.30 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. Good luck on, on your sleeping journey. I wish the best to you. This is, like, the wholesomest game ever. I can't. I can't even. Mug, mug, mug. Melatonin is awesome. I have heard of melatonin. This is the last one. Welcome to Kind Words. We didn't want your inbox to start empty, so us, the developers, wrote you a letter. We hope that you will enjoy your time here, share, grow, and help others do the same. That's so cute. Uh, what, what reply? Okay, happy cat. How cute, man. I can't believe that. That is adorable. Okay, let's help some other people out now. We've been helped. Let's help some other people out. Okay, I do not speak um, Spanish. Oh, I do, yes. Um, Zelda Lo-Fi is amazing. There you go. Nice and quick. Not, not not too not too in depth. <laughs> okay. Thank you, dear. Oh hey, I discovered a connector this morning. Okay, what's this? I was a bit stressed about some things, but I put this on loop and I washed and washed all that away. Oh, we we unlock new tracks. That's so cool. Calming or indie game recommendations? Yes, this game. <laughs> um. I have many, that's my forte. Hey friend. My time at Porsche. Oh, my not my tin at Porsche. My time at Porsche is really good. Uh, you've probably heard heard of Stardew Valley too. Hmm, what else is quite calming? Moonlight it definitely wasn't calming. It was intense, beautiful, but intense. Um, hmm. Uh, or try air. There you go. I'm gonna try Dragon Quest Builder soon. I'm so excited about it. 
Astronaut. Yeah. Okay, this is interesting. I'm an actor who's suddenly wanted, and the love I get in interviews freaks me out. It clashes with my life where I feel so unwanted, damaged, and untouched, and unloved to the point where I wonder what life's for. Wow, this is a crazy letter to get. That's interesting. So, we have obviously an actor that's quite popular here. Um, they're loved in their external life, but in their internal life, they're they're not loved. Okay, let's see what we, let's see what we can have. What we can say. Okay, this was a tricky one because I had so much I wanted to say, so I tried to compact it into understanding and a quick sort of solution or an idea. I said, hey Blossom, I understand you. The dichotomy of a warm, distant affection, yet a glacial and compassionless personal life must be akin to food being dangled in front of a starving person. If you have people that are close and are treating you that way, it is better off to be alone than to be with someone who makes you feel alone. If you don't, look under the eyes for the soul's intent. Blossom. Yeah, it must be so hard to have, you know, the masses being affectionate and, and having all this adoration for you, yet having like your parents and your family and maybe your partner treating you so badly, you know, because it does happen, you know, that they, they, they can transform the world around them of people, but they can't transform the world that they were born into, the inner circle, so it's kind of sad, really. And the, the worst thing is, whoever they meet, um, if, they, if they're a fan, then they are going to basically deify them. They're going to deify them um, into being something that uh, they're not. And they're going to have all these expectations and it just leads, it's just a, it's just a bad, it's just, it's just bad if you, have, if you, if you try and uh, date or make friends with fans, I guess. Um, so, yeah. Um, if you have people close to you treating that way, yeah, so um, I definitely 100% agree with the statement that it's better off to be alone than to be with others who make you feel alone. They take up your energy and they make you feel bad. It's not a good combo. And the last part was if this person is an actor and they are famous and they're meeting people and they are sort of trying to find someone with um, pure intent it must be incredibly difficult um, you know money fame status clout you name it they can be after it but the eyes are often revealing and this was more of a metaphor actually for just being careful you know going undercover like going somewhere where maybe people don't know you so yeah um, I don't really hard relate to this um, but I hope that I helped somehow. And it was definitely very interesting to get a letter from this person who is a, supposedly an actor. So there we are. You are very welcome. Well, if it's Henry Cavill. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so I actually had this issue and I dealt with it in a weird way, but it worked in, in, it worked in a spectacular fashion and I actually got the best grades in class at some uh, uh, in one of my classes so um, let's go hey Blossom okay so why what, what I said here was having no motivation is a difficult thing I've been there too one thing that really helped me was staying behind after school until I completed my studying I knew I had to do Otherwise, you'll get decision fatigue at home from trying to motivate yourself and procrastinating. Um, so decision fatigue is very real. Um, uh, that's why the mindset of being present-minded and, uh, as Michael Jordan said, I hope it was Michael Jordan, um, once uh, I made a decision, I never had to think about it again. Um, very simple, but it's huge because if you think about whether you should do something or not, um, you procrastinate, you keep trying to make a decision in your head and you psychologically reinforce it to be negative and it's just this horrible negative feedback loop. Um, so yeah, 
Uh, avoiding that is great, and one way I avoided it was I would stay at school um, until I did my work. And I ended up just, like, it was great. I ended up just staying and being really efficient, and then people started to join me, and then we had this whole circle of efficiency. And then I remember this one beautiful night, I stayed there till 12 p.m. doing my coursework, midnight, and there was only the caretakers in the uh, building. And uh, I went round, I went downstairs to look for them, and there was no one there. Um, so I checked the assembly hall, and it's just like this big hall with a piano. Um, and it was vast, and it was like, I don't know, if it was just to be in an area that big that usually is full, it was kind of crazy. And I just sat there and played the piano. And then like half an hour, an hour into it, um, the caretaker heard me, and he was like, what are you doing? I was like, well, I couldn't find a caretaker, so I just started playing piano. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, that was great. Um, but that, that really helped me. I ended up getting uh, good grades and being very proud of myself, really. So that's my, that's my tip to this person. No thank you for letting me tell a cool story. These past two letters have been quite cool. You are awesome. Don't let anyone tell you anything else. You are nice the way you are. That is so cute. Because they knew it would turn up for everyone. What song describes your life or current situation and why? Wow, this is a good one. Uh, oh, I got one. <laughs> this is a good song, by the way. And they're not very well known, so go support them. A-W-E, some call me awesome. You don't want to miss it like a very special blossom. That should be my channel trailer. Why didn't I think of that? Oh my god. Alright, channel trailer confirmed. Hmm. This is an interesting one. Um, I'm not particularly an artist, but um, but I do dabble in the arts, the dark arts. Um, let me read that because I might skip through it too quick. Um, I have been going through a rather long slump, but I need some motivation and inspiration. Maybe even a course of action to keep me on track with my artistic goals. Anyone have any suggestions, apps, books, online platforms? Um, okay. Okay. So, I wrote... To get motivation for art, get to know yourself a bit more. What exactly is it about art and doing art that you like? Once you know these key things, then explore them. Take a break, smell the flowers, and live in them. It could be nature. So get on the train or a bus and go somewhere that looks so pretty. Or the expression of emotions. So watch some emotional anime. Or get that acting friend of yours on board. So. Yeah, if you're not motivated to do something that you're that you are doing that you that you feel like you have to do or what or feel like you should want to do, ask yourself what made you want to do them in the first place. Like for me, with my botany, why do I do botany? Because I like them. I like the I like nature first of all. And, you know, I like the compassionate side of botany. Maybe I can help people in the future. Um, I like the mystery of it. It's almost like become a bit forgotten, you know? So once I've identified those things, if I ever feel like I've lost my passion for it, then I can ask myself, why have I lost my passion for compassion, for mystery, for nature? It's about cutting between what seems like a complex cause of thoughts by identifying reason and then going directly to it. So there you go. There's my answer to that one. Okay, so before we head off today, I'm going to send my own letter. Um, here we go. So, hey everyone. I've just started YouTube and I'm enjoying it so much that I would love to make it a full-time thing. Any advice? Blossom. There we go. Wait, gotta do the emoji. There you go. Okay. 
all set. It may take a little time for people to reply. They may even send you a sticker. In the meantime, maybe write someone else a letter. Okay. Rightio. Well, that was immensely fun. Um, and beautiful. And very wholesome. I'm, I'm very much enjoying this game. Originally, I thought, how could I do a Let's Play series of a game that has like a core very well-known fundamental functionality but now I feel like I could play this game forever it is just so beautiful the act of helping someone else and sort of pouring your heart out to a stranger you know and being compassionate it's just it creates this beautiful community and I've yeah this is this has been really great um and I want you in the comment section to give me a request to write you know what do you feel like you want to get off your chest to ask the world and I'll ask them um, so yeah I'll see you next time Blossoms